Hi, it's Rebecca. I'm gonna give you some techniques that maybe you can use to be more at peace with yourself and uh, free yourself from negative emotions like fear, frustration, anger, hopelessness. Once you make the connection to your higher self, you can't be hopeless anymore. But you need to have an aha moment. Some people call it being reborn. Enlightenment is where you're headed. We're all really enlightened without even knowing it. We just cover it up with this belief system that gets thrown over us like a wet blanket. But if you wanna free yourself from your beliefs that are driving you in a way that you don't necessarily enjoy, maybe you're bored, you're fearful, you're frustrated, you're tired, you can change it. The only way you can change it though is to go within, to find your inner power. Because you are manifesting what you are thinking about. And of course there's the mass consciousness too that we're dealing with. But if you wanna step off the grid, step off the matrix and come out and be different, you need to become an independent thinker. Someone who digs into the truths that have always been on this planet talked about by the wise ones, the masters, the teachers, and um, find out what they have to say that can help you along the way. And don't just read it like a novel. You have to work with it. You have to use divine principles so that you can turn yourself into a happier person if that's what you want to do. Now, if you want to be miserable, some people enjoy that. They like being stuck. They like the drama. They wouldn't know what to do without it. I've actually met people who have said, oh no, I can't go too deeply into spirituality and metaphysics because I know I would probably get a divorce or um, you know, I wouldn't fit in. So they keep themselves stuck. But here we are living in a time where there is a massive number of people who appear to be stuck. And it's not serving us. It's not doing us any good to stay stuck. We need solutions. So why don't we start thinking outside the box and realize without a shadow of a doubt that there is always a solution. And the solution is always good. Because if you do believe that there is a God and that God is only good and God is love, you can get rid of fear because perfect love casts out fear. And once you understand that you are made in the image and likeness of God, you identify with that, then you can stand up to all this erroneous thinking. And um, like I said, step out and be different. Don't give up, just turn your thought in, a, in the right direction.